Welcome back to Sleecraft Sundays. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this beautiful, amazing, super sexy boat trailer. <laughs> this episode is going to be all about the design and fabrication of this boat trailer and Sarah and I learning how to weld, sort of. <laughs> and learning more about trailer design and what works and doesn't work because we were having some issues. So if anyone has uh, some advice, comments below. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so before we get started on the SST this year, one thing I really want to do and have been putting off for years is fixing my boat trailer. The trailer that is under danger zone is absolutely terrible. Here's a close-up shot. No winch, just using some ratchet straps. You can actually move all the axles and pretty much all the bushings are shot with these parallel linkages, just loose. And then the build quality, I mean, you can just see it's, it's garbage. This whole thing sucks. I cannot wait to get rid of this trailer. I don't trust it on the freeway. I don't even trust it going to the lake, which is like a mile and a half away. So here's the new trailer. This is again from like a Nautique or something. I've already cut off all the existing bunks, but it's a lot nicer. It only has one axle, which means I could be able to turn it around a lot easier. It's fully boxed. All the welding on it is really nice. It's just super heavy duty. And then on top of that, there's already a mount for a winch right here. It has surge brakes. Now it's the right link, it's a little wide. I don't really care about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these plates I had bent up of quarter inch steel. We're just gonna weld them like, like this or something and then cut off the bottom and paint it. So I think the first step is we're just gonna clamp these things to the trailer with a straight edge and get the height right. All right, you guys want to see some boogers? So I don't know why I'm getting so much spatter. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. The welder that I bought came with a tank of 100% argon. I think normally you're supposed to use a blend. So instead of admitting that I'm not very good at this, I'm just going to blame the fact that I'm using 100% argon. Close your eyes. Okay, open them. Looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably stupid. Yeah, very stupid. But anyway, but but like it's. It's not walking in the center. Well, I don't know if they're in the center. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's what fair, I'm saying. Fair like, point. Fair point. Fair point. All right, so next day, the armor's all dry. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like after I ground all my welds down because they all look terrible. Yeah, not so bad. I think uh, I still have some voids in here that I'm worried about trapping moisture and rotting and starting to crack and stuff. So what I'm gonna be using is Spot Putty. Instead of the 3M stuff, I picked up this stuff by Upal. Never heard of it, not sponsored, but this was like $5 cheaper. So we're gonna give this stuff a whirl and just smear it on here and let it dry and then we're gonna sand it with some four or 500 and shoot these things red. So I've triple measured these bunks on here and what we're gonna do now is drill through the wood into the bunk supports and I'm gonna bolt them on just temporarily and then I'm gonna be removing them and then we are going to be repainting this whole frame. So let's pitter patter, make some holes.
All right, so I pressure washed this with that. And now that it's pressure washed, I just want to show you guys where we're at. I'm going to be scuffing this whole thing in preparation for paint and probably getting rid of some of the rust and corrosion in some spots. It's got a little bit of corrosion, but I think it's going to clean up pretty nice. So let's, uh, let's get after it while this storm hits. I think it's going to start raining any second here. looks pretty good Sarah holy sanding Batman she's know. available for hire Sarah's boat <laughs> yeah it looks really good it looks as good as the person who worked so hard on it that's an insult actually because it doesn't look it that good I would like to look better than that <laughs> it is kind of wide too huh oh snap that was a fat joke <laughs> actually you did a great job, Sarah, because painting is easy. It's all in the prep work. So this girl, while well, I was working eight and a half hours today, was out here sanding. All right, there's a train. We're gonna we're gonna do something else. So I did a decent amount of research on what you want to keep your carpet on the bunks with. I'm using coated screws with some really decent threads on them. You want to use coated because the wood is treated. If you use regular steel, they'll probably rot out. And then I'm using not regular washers, but finish washers. The reason is that then that screw kind of captures the carpet with this lip of metal and gets a really good hold on it. This is going to hold your carpet a lot better than staples or just adhesive. So I'm doing the spray mount to prevent the carpet from shifting around and then I'm using the fasteners and the finish washers underneath the bunk. All right, so now that the bunks are done, we're gonna put the decking on. So this stuff is all finished. Sarah did an awesome job finishing this up for me. What we're gonna do to install it is I really didn't wanna have visible fasteners. So I'm gonna drill holes in these supports here, and then I'm gonna run fasteners underneath. So same, same fasteners actually, we're gonna use those coated screws with the uh, healthy threads on them, and hopefully that'll keep them down. Typically I try to bolt everything, but I mean, these really shouldn't see much load. So I think the 
just a regular screw will work. So we're going to try that first and hopefully they don't fall off. All right, that was a lot of work, and that took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we leveled up our welding skills. <laughs> and uh, I didn't film a lot of just the last few things on here when I swapped the wheels and screwed on the wood because it was like full sun and probably like on the concrete, 100 some degrees, and I was just pretty much naked. <laughs> we were dripping. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the uh, maiden voyage of this trailer. We're gonna take it over to the launch drop it off, then we're gonna come back and grab the boat and see if it fits. So. Swapsies. Nice. All right, you know what time it is, Sarah? New trailer time. New trailer time. New trailer. Um, and try to back it in and we'll see if we put the boat on it and everything is just seamless like literally never happens ever but you know would be great so there's like a line of boats right now because there's a storm about to hit and we're trying to fit the new trailer and I don't know if it's gonna fit so this is fun Uh, 65. Oh, that's it? Nothing. Like that's it. That was plenty for me, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a stern drive. I need a shorter one. Ooh, wait, this one I need to push it this way just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so ever so slowly pull out, okay? Which, that's what she said, seriously. Okay. <laughs> this one's okay, but it's very close. That's fitting. That's fitting. Okay, okay. Okay, I think you're good. Slowly, okay, slowly. Look at that boat on that trailer. Oh my goodness. I mean, I measured it right. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, but these fenders, we definitely need to we put- We definitely need those, yeah. yeah. Something there. And something tall probably, right? That like helps wow, us load it. Wow, that is fitting tight. Is it t hitting this here? This is good? I thought for sure it was gonna hit here. Wow. All right, also, I'm gonna need So a... the boat is not far enough on the trailer is the problem. See this foot here? When I was yeah. saying it's bouncy, it's because all the weight is way behind the axle. So we need to pull this forward. So we put it in. You laugh at what we realized? Yeah, we put it in again to pull it forward. Totally forgot the drain plug. <laughs> That's some water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we modified a few things. We, we brought it forward. We right. utilized some holes. Let's just go we home. We did some stuff. See if it falls off. Let's find out. So we got home and it was a little sketchy and now we are realizing a problem which is that big ass V8 is significantly behind this axle. So I I wasn't sure how this is going to work. So what I did is I put a jack underneath the rear of the boat trailer here because I didn't trust it. And then we disconnected it from the van 
and then I lowered the jack and the tongue just went up and up and up and up. So we have too much, too much rear end behind that axle. So I have put so much work into this freaking boat trailer because everyone who wants to build a boat trailer wants six to $7,000. And I have searched for years to find a boat trailer for this, but then I wound up restoring the SST. And so I thought that this boat trailer would work, but now I'm thinking this was a giant waste of time. No, no, no. Come here. Come here come Sarah has an idea here. though. She's going to tell you her idea and we're going to see what the comments say. So this is the back and we're already forward of the bunk. We've got not a whole lot of clearance, which is fine. But then up here, I want to show you two things that this is pretty deformed. There's a lot of weight on this roller and there's actually a gap on the top of that tunnel here. So the weight, the front half of this boat is being supported just by this roller. The metal is not digging into it yet, but this could deform more. But these bunks are not high enough compared to where this roller is. I knew it was gonna be close, but this is, this is, you know, I'm not like a trailer expert. This is like a lot of measuring and this is where it wound up. So we need to probably raise the bunks a little bit, but then this is the other issue. All right, we got the winch wench here checking in. Yeah, no, I, I was really excited about the whole winch thing, but honestly, all it is is in the way. It helped me not at all when docking the boat. It actually was in the way, like the handle was hitting the boat itself. It looks like it would clear now, but when the, it's in the water, it's actually down a little bit more. When you pull it out of the water, it pops up. So I couldn't tighten it as much as I even wanted to. I wanted to get it to about here at, because the handle was there. Um, also, all of this here, this whole mechanism, I think is just wasted space. I think we can get the entire boat further forward if either the winch isn't here or even this pole isn't here. But yeah, I'm wondering if short term, if we just remove the winch. The winch completely and then we just, yeah, secure it like we've been before. The other thing is this post. We could use it as some sort of wedge that cushions, right? Like a little V of foam or something that wherever this sits can rest hey, on. Hey, I like that idea, Sarah. Yeah. You're smart. And we don't have to cut that off, but it just definitely, this, this what thing I think we do doesn't need to be here. I think we, we remove this winch, we get a plate, we put the winch here, okay? And then the plate goes this way, and that's where we mount that V thing. That way we get double, we get the winch. Can I ask a separate question? Mm -hmm. Why do we need a winch? Like, honestly, I had to get in the water anyway and guide it like I've always had to. What if instead of a winch with just like weird m mechanical parts, it was just a, a hook? Like a, a hook on a, you know, like what if it was just something like this on whatever length of cord we know is the correct amount that we just like clip, clip. Yeah, maybe. Because I don't, like none of this was helpful at all. As a matter of fact, it was just in the way and cumbersome as we were trying to figure it out. Maybe I'm just not used to having a winch, but I'm just saying it did not help. Ugh, man. Put so much time into this. No, and it hey, doesn't don't work. Don't be discouraged. You, you, it's so close, and you did such a great job, and it looks so good. It does look pretty good. It. We're gonna get it there. But I really like. Look at. Even think about this. The other trailer, like the the bunks came out past here. They they came. They did this weird angle thing, but they came out past. The other trailer was the same length, and the boat was further forward. So we just need to figure out how to bring the boat further forward, get that winch out of the dang way, and we'll figure it out. All right, so thanks for uh, watching Sleecraft Sunday. Not very successful, but hey, uh, hey, decently successful. Uh, yeah, non-functional, very pretty trailer. I, I like barely functional, pretty things. I guess. Oh. Not, not, not you, like boats and cars. Shut up. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. I guess we will have updates next week. And man, I got to tell you guys, I'm behind on the SST project because this thing is a time vampire. But I don't want to spend seven grand on a trailer. I refuse. So. Check in next time. We'll see what we figure out. Cheers.